Wayne Rooney to DC United and Fernando Torres to Chicago Fire. Um, should we deal with these separately? Should we start with Rooney? Sure. Let's start with Rooney first, shall we? Right. DC United. Yeah. Well, if, it's hard because I think MLS doesn't want to get themselves. They, they, you know, they always are saying, well, we're not a retirement sure. league. We don't want to be a part of this. Uh, now, if players come in and perform, David Villa, for example, yep. comes in, does what he does. Okay, brilliant. But when, unfortunately, you have a situation like Steven Gerrard, then it swings back the other way. Okay, we're not a retirement lead. So it comes to the point where the teams have to do their homework and find out, does a guy still have any gas in the tank? Can he come in? Because what MLS is, it's a physical league. Yeah. You have to come in. You work hard. You will do okay with the skill set that a Wayne so Rooney has. is Rooney going to be more Villa or Gerrard on that scale? I... I hate to be negative, but from what I saw at Everton, really? I think he has a better chance. Right. Wayne Rooney really. has a much better chance of being on the Gerard scale yeah. than Villa, on the David. David Villa was at a decent age when he came in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Wayne Rooney's only, what, 32? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, but, a, that's an old 32. That's a 32 uh, well, but there's 32. the question mark, right? Well, let's be honest. You know, it's been a fantastic career for Wayne Rooney, but the legs have gone. Right. Fernando Torres, the legs have gone. So let's be quite frank about this. These sign it. It's almost like whose legs have gone and can't play in that team or in that league. Oh, we'll have a look at them. They're quite a big name. Right? That, that's all. That, that's all this is. There's no. There's no even point sitting here trying to butter this up as anything else. Ibrahimovic, the exact same. Super talent. Absolutely super talent. But the legs aren't going to do what they once were. Now, he's going to propel the commercial side sure. on a different scale to, to even a Rooney or, or a Torres. But but. We have to have honesty here. If, if MLS wants to, to really propel itself in a big way, it's the 20-somethings 20 20 they need to be signing, not the 30-somethings. And, and, and that's the amazing thing for me. I thought MLS was moving away from this kind of sign. Yeah. Um, and focusing, OK, either talented youth here in the, in the US or if you want to look through Central and South America, fine enough. But the ageing European player that doesn't move the needle, the needle in terms of marketing the way that David Beckham did, or maybe yet still to see, Ibrahimovic may very well do, and doesn't have an impact on the field, like a Kaká or David Villa, then what's the point? And, and in all honesty, Wayne Rooney and Fernando Torres, I, I don't see them moving the needle on the park, mm. and I don't see them moving the needle significantly enough in a marketing sense to make this worthwhile. Now, I don't have a problem if they're coming in to pay scale. If they're mm. coming into an average MLS salary to come in and be a, a, a better player, yeah, but, which you well, what's know... What's the average MLS salary? 150K? No, no, no. It's more than that. Well, no. But, 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 but you... No, but, 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 well, that's what I'm saying. But the difference is it gives you an opportunity to come into America. And if you end up getting your green card because of it and want to retire here and coach and bring the experience that you have into the game and work hard post-football, then brilliant. Mm -hmm. But if you're coming in to take a last gasp yeah. paycheck and you can't perform on the field because your legs are gone... Yeah, if you want to come in and half a million a year and, and, and take... Correct. And, ...and get involved in coaching and get involved in other stuff, not, not an issue. Not an and issue you're gonna, And some of the young lads are going to learn from you if they want to learn. Not a problem. But if you're going to pay these guys, I'm guessing, you know, four and a half, five million dollars plus a year... What? What's Rooney's next step? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if China's an option. I, I don't know. I mean, he's played a lot of games. Yeah. Uh, it's hard when you get into your 30s because you want to you want to still play with the good players that you've played with and you want to still play at that level. But it, but it is difficult. And you can never blame the player for trying to get no, you can't. some sort of... Uh, yeah. I mean, if we were offered to go and live in LA or something <laughs> when we were like 32, 33 and earn big money, I would have loved to have done that. So I'm never blaming the player, but I think the leagues and the team need to have a look at something's going down this road. And, and the truth is, Wayne Rooney doesn't necessarily have to have a next step at this point. He's earned well enough through his career to, to, to make it to the point that whatever he decides to do, it's a lifestyle choice. Right. If he wants to go out to L.A. because of the sunshine and retire out there, fine. Or, or D.C. Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe, he's, he's maybe he the, the, yeah. the, the reign of, of, the, yeah. of the Northwest. I, I, I don't know. But it's a lifestyle choice that he makes, and, and he doesn't necessarily have to have a grand master plan because financially he could retire right now. I'll tell you what, we should, we should, MLS should open a team in Connecticut. 
Are you playing? Then see how many people want to come. Enjoy this snow in the winter. Do you think that's a good selling point? I'm saying it has a long winter. Well, yes, as it you does. Will. Steam Rev, the New England Revs are right here. Same know. winter. Long's a winner with you.